Shame on you. That's it. Shame on you. The family of 23 year old Stefan Clark, joined tonight by Black Lives Matter protesters blocks away from the home where Clark was shot to death by Sacramento police officers. The house where it happened, still blocked off by police tape, is Clark's grandparents' home, where family says Stefan Clark was living. An innocent black man going to his grandma and grandpa house where he lived? Now how you gonna explain that? How you gonna justify that? A Sacramento police spokesman said they were called to the location on a report that someone was breaking into cars. It was a sheriff's department helicopter that directed police on the ground to Clark. A deputy watching from above advised them he had broken a window to the home. Sacramento police officers say they tried to take Clark into custody, but he refused their verbal instructions. Looked back at our officers and uh, uh, faced them and had something, an object in his hand and pointed it uh, at our uh, officers and at that time our officers uh, believed that it was a firearm and uh, out of fear uh, for their own lives they fired their service weapons. Protesters tonight said Stefan Clark was holding a wrench. The two officers didn't move according to the police department spokesman for five minutes while they waited for backup. Fire department paramedics eventually responded too and pronounced Clark dead. His family disputes that he was confronting the officer at all, saying instead he was shot as he was moving away. In the back. You know, how? so that means that he was running. So that means that he was probably saying, this is my grandma's house. This is where I live. You know, leave me alone. Two Sacramento police officers have been placed on paid administrative leave while the incident is being investigated, which is standard department protocol in cases of an officer-involved shooting. And the officers involved were wearing body cameras at the time of the shooting. Under a 2016 city council rule, Sacramento police are required to make footage of an officer-involved shooting public within 30 days. The sheriff's helicopter also reportedly was recording from above. Shame on you. Shame on you. That's it.